Hey there, Lick and Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we continue the slide guitar series here on Lick and Riff. So grab your slides, and this time there's no need to retune your guitar because we're gonna learn how to solo using a slide with standard tuning. I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to um, do slide solos that sound nice um, and the concepts behind how to properly solo using a slide. So <clears throat> obviously, whenever you have a major chord, you can use the same thing that you do in open tunings. So if you have C, for example, then the chord is on 5-5-5 five, five, five on strings 2, 3, and 4, so you can do, okay, you can slide into it and you can do the Okay, the, the same uh, one fret down detuning trick. So if you're on C, that would mean five to four on one string and then back to five. Okay, so you can do, okay, you can do this as a solo. But I'm talking about proper soloing. Okay, so let's take the E pentatonic uh, scale. Okay, so you have uh, nine on the third string, and you have eight, ten, and twelve on the second string. Now you can you can also go go down the scale as well. But let's start with this. Let's start with a slide to nine on the third string. Okay, so you slide. And then what happens when you have to go to eight on the second string? Okay, you can either slide down, okay, and this creates this creates a detuning, okay, or you can mute the string. You can do okay, you can pick mute and then move to eight, okay. And then you have a choice. If you want to play, okay, if you want to play 8, 10, 12, 12, you have several choices. You can do, okay, you can do it in all in one slide. And then the technique would be sliding into 8, and then sliding back down, and then up to 10. Okay, and then again, a little bit downwards towards the 9th fret, and then up to 12. So it gets, okay, but really quickly, okay, and then you get this, okay, so that's one technique, but if you want to separate the notes, you can play, okay, up to nine, and then up to eight, and then just ten, and then slide it, okay, and you can do... Okay, you can do the same thing downwards. You can slide from 12 to 10. Okay, and then, okay, play eight and then slide up to nine and then play nine on the third string. Okay, and this can work because then you have the E chord. And even if you're not on E, it still produces the same effect. It still produces, it still produces the blues. Okay. So even if you go downwards, okay, if you do nine, seven, uh, five, okay, so you have, um, okay, again, you can do a double slide, okay, or you can, okay, you can slide from nine to seven, and then slide up to five, okay, nine, seven, slide up to five, okay? Okay, so the entire concept is play play around the note, okay? And if you want to jump, jump a little bit farther and then go back to the note, okay? That's the idea. And don't forget to vibrate, okay? And then, okay, for example, if you have five on one string and seven on a different string, Okay, you can slide on either one of them. You can slide, 
Okay? You can slide on the second one. Okay? Or you can slide. Okay? You can slide on both. Doesn't sound too bad when you play it in context. Okay, when you isolate it, it might sound a bit off, but when you play it in real time, it's just grittiness. There's nothing bad about it. Okay? Okay, same thing. Okay, same thing. If you want to play seven on the fifth, five, seven, seven on the fourth. Okay, you can play slide, just the note, and then slide twice. Okay, so. Okay, and you can do down up. Okay, so. Okay, you can do double stop. Okay, you can play it on both strings if it's in, in the right key. Okay. Okay. And you can do. Okay, you can do the same thing uh, on strings one and two. Okay. And again, if. Yeah, if it doesn't sound too perfect, then perfect. That's the slide sound. You you don't want to be too clean when you're playing slide. You want to you want to be gritty. Um, now let me just show you um, how it goes this way, a, a little bit cleaner. You see? It's a lot less interesting when it's too clean. You need that steel grittiness in your soloing when you solo with a slide. If you do it on an electric guitar, that's a different story because then you, you might have distortion on, you might have effects on, you might have an echo going. So on an electric guitar, it'll be a lot cleaner because the, the pickups are the ones who produce the sound. Um, so you won't hear all the noise that comes from the, the, the strings themselves. Um, but on an acoustic guitar, that's what you want to hear. You want to hear the noise. You want to hear the grittiness. So that's how you solo with, uh, with a slide. And you can do the same thing. You can pull off. Okay, you can pull off the slide. Okay, you can hammer it on if you want. Uh, it all depends on the amount of grittiness you want to you want to get out of your slide soloing. Um, so this lesson might have been a bit shorter than uh, the previous ones, but trust me on this, it's a lot harder to get used to when you're playing actual scales. Um, you have to be you have to think around the around the note. You have to, to think where you want to slide from. So even though the lesson is shorter, this takes a lot longer to get used to because you can slide from upwards. You can slide from downwards. Okay? And you can even imitate a slide doing it. Okay? Yeah, you can, you can uh, bend uh, from below a note. Okay? Okay, and vibrate um, and, and imitate a slide. So, okay, you see? Um, so you need to think around the notes. Um, so just take your time. If you need to watch the video again, and I will see you in the next video. So thank you very much for watching and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There are hundreds of free lessons here for you. Uh, so uh, enjoy. Bye for now.